I'm gonna go over valve lapping. This is a set of two valve heads, PI heads, power improved heads from 99 to 04 GT. And I've already gone through and cleaned these out. Uh, I'll do a little more cleaning afterwards. I like to give them a bath after I lap the valves in just to make sure any of the compounds out of there. So what is lapping the valves? Why do we do it? Um, there's some arguments uh, that would say that lapping valves are unnecessary and that valves lapping the valves in can actually cause more damage than good. Uh, I prefer to lap them in on a rebuilt head, on brand new heads. I don't lap them in before assembling the engine, but on, on, a, on a rebuilt head, uh, I prefer to lap them in. And what it does is it helps mate the two surfaces, the actual valve, the actual valve, and the valve seat area of the head. And when you, when you do it, uh, it also helps to, it helps me to identify if we have any issue going on here, like the valve is bent, or we have a seat issue, or a guide issue. And that'll show up a lot of times when you lap in your valves because the markings are left over from the compound. So what you need, you need a couple of things I have set up here on the table. I use Chemtech lint, uh, low lint towels. If you don't have the low lint towels, uh, they, these still leave a little bit of lint, but if you don't have the low lint towels like Chemtech, you can use the Scott's towels that are commonly found at Costco or the parts stores or anything like that. Those are low lint. I, I don't like to use these red rags because they put out a lot of lint on engine components, but I will use them for when I have a need to get a big gob of uh, rubbing compound or, or lapping compound off of my gloves or off my fingers. So if there's a large amount, I'll, I'll, I'll wipe my hands on there or whatever. And ATF, Automatic transmission fluid, this is just an oil that has detergents in it. ATF has cleaner in it, and it helps to lubricate surfaces to keep them from rusting as well as clean them. And I also like to use these Q-tips. They're long stem. Uh, well, they're not called Q-tips. These are cotton swabs, but they work great for getting into hard to reach areas. I take one of these and I run them Take one of these and run them through and clean out your valve guides prior to lapping them in. This head, I've already done a couple of valves. I'm going to do this set right here on video. I've already did this set. You can, you may be able to see the area right here. It's kind of discolored. It's about two millimeters thick. That is the area that's left over after lapping them in. Not sure if you can see on this one, but this side does not have them yet. Here we are in the engine room, and I wanted to show you the importance of keeping everything in order. This is from when it was disassembled, the heads were disassembled. Passenger side front over here, driver side front over here. I put a piece of tape down, arrow, just so I don't forget in case it's been a little while before I get back to these components. These valves have already been cleaned. I have not bled down the lash adjusters yet, but everything is in order. Okay, these are the valves we're gonna lap in, so I'm gonna clean them real quick. You do not want to have anything inside there as you're lapping your valves in because your valves are going to be spinning around. Also of note, these the valve seals are not in here. On the opposite side, if I were to flip this head over, the valve seals are not in there. You don't want to damage the valve seals by putting the valve in and out or by spinning it. At a minimum, you're going to need valve lapping compound or valve grinding compound and a valve lapping tool. These can be found at Napa or most most of your auto parts stores. Take a little bit. And 
lightly coat it around the edge of the valve. You don't have to put a huge amount on there. This stuff is like, this stuff is essentially liquid sandpaper. So you do not want to get it on the stem of the valve while you're doing this. Lower it down in. We have our valve inside. We coated it, the contact area, the 45 degree angle with valve grinding or valve lapping compound. And now you're gonna take your tool. I use the small side, even on the intake valve. And you're gonna just push that down. There's a couple things that I like to do when I do these is I start from the top and I'm just gonna spin it. You can hear it's a little kind of coarse sounding. This, the grits on this thing will get finer the more that you grind it. You don't need to spend 10 minutes per valve on this thing. A, a valve lapping job is not a substitute for uh, a valve job. If you need to grind these valves uh, with a machine or with stones, um, then you need to do that. Not a la a Lapping the valves in is not a substitute for a valve job. This is just gonna help the surfaces mate and identify any problems. So I start at the top and just kind of move down and I turn it a little bit. I like to lift up on it a little bit to help move that compound into the contact surface. You can hear it getting a higher tone. Now you got your valve out and clean it off. And inspect under a good light. It may be difficult to make out, but there's a, a gray line that goes across there. And you want that to be uniform all the way across. If it's missing in places, or if it gets real thin in places, it will not seal. So you look all the way around that surface area and see if, make sure it's there. Then you want to clean your valve seat area. Okay, this may be hard to see in the video, but there is a, a ring about two millimeters or so that goes all the way around here. Maybe. And you want that to be even all the way around. Now I'm gonna do the intake valve.
And if you did everything, if everything's in good condition, not necessarily if you did it correctly, but if everything's in good condition, you'll have that ring around there, right on the 45, that's even on both the intake and the exhaust valve. What you're looking for is gonna be, if you have a bigger issue, if you need to do a valve job, it's gonna be most likely on the exhaust side because that's where most of the heat is. And it'll be in the form of pitting. You'll have pittings all around on there, especially on the contact area on the 45 angle. So if you got some major pitting on there, it's not gonna come out with valve lapping. Uh, if you do, it's not gonna, if you can get some of that out, it's gonna take a very, very long time. And it's only gonna be on the surface that it contacts. It's not, it's not a good practice to try and lap out any of the pitting inside there. You need to actually either machine it or, or stone it down to fix that 45 if you got major pitting on there. So that's it. If you have any questions, put them down below. Make sure and subscribe and there's more videos to come.